Having just watched today's Love Island All-Stars first look, it, it's like watching a rerun of an episode you've already seen. We have a game. Snog the Islander with the best chat. <laughs> we have the announcement of a recoupling in which the new bombshells will get first dibs. Islanders, tonight there'll be a recoupling where Jess, Eve and Joe will pick first. Whoa. Keep your girls close, boys. <laughs> And of course, we have the storyline of one islander getting revenge, and that's Sophie, you know, talking to Joe and kind of hinting that she might get revenge on Josh for Josh not being totally honest with her, even though he kind of has been honest with her, but Joanna decided to stir it all up, and I don't understand why Joanna did that. So that seems pretty solid. I mean, not like closed off completely, so. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm open. So yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. Either way, it just looks like the same thing again and again and again. There's been, in this series, it's been strange because there's been no real challenges. They haven't done challenges like they do in the normal show. There's been nothing to get the competitive nature going. It's just been drinking games, like, you know, almost like the kind of games you'd play as a teenager, like spin the bottle and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's just kind of playground silly games, followed by arguments and recouplings. And maybe that was always the intention. Maybe they never really intended the show to get, you know, at all kind of more than that. But it's just a bit straitjacketed, I think, in a way. And you just think, well, it's, it's so repetitive. It's like, guys, please, we are watching the show. We are noting what's going on. Stop making it so repetitive. I mean, it could go on for an eternity with this format. And maybe that's the point. But there we go. Actually, Joanna wasn't even mentioned in the uh, first look today. But certainly um, Casey was there, wasn't he? Being creepy as always. Yeah, really good. You look like you're having the best night ever. <laughs> How the tables have turned. On the subject of Joanna, people have been noticing on social media how she tends to whisper a lot, goes from talking normally to suddenly whispering like that. And people have been wondering, is this something she's always done? Well, she has done it. This resurfaced clip from when she was on Love Island shows her doing the exact same thing to what I think is a cuss or a more boy and saying some quite um, serious things to him as she whispers. Now, apparently, this gentleman in the video is big friends with Chris and used to be Chris's flatmate. I don't actually know who he is, haven't been able to identify him, but that's definitely Joanna. If you found what you want, you better leave my big lily arms. You're like... What? I'm, I'm serious, Dan. So yeah, Joanna has her ways, and I guess we can expect more of this kind of irrelevant stirring but on the subject of resurfaced clips if like me you're struggling to remember all these people these bombshells come in i'm like the thing is they weren't that remarkable so i don't really remember who they are then hang about i'm going to help remind you of these people and let's start with joe joe who was on series five i think and was known for running a catering company in which he made sandwiches i'm joe i'm 22 i'm from south east london and i've got my own catering company I guess my nickname is being called a sandwich man, but um, I love it. Who doesn't love sandwiches? If I was to describe my ideal girl as a sandwich, it would probably be a pulled pork sandwich with chunky coleslaw in a nice baguette. You can never go wrong with pulled pork. Well, I mean, you, you can go wrong with a pork sandwich if you're Muslim or you're Jewish, but let's not mind about that, shall we, Joe? So yeah, that's Joe. I mean, you know, all-star, I don't know. <laughs> then maybe you should make your mind up about that. And then we have the twins. I remember the twins. I remember it being very strange with the twins. I find them quite an odd couple, but let them explain that for themselves. I'm Jess. I'm Eve. We're 20 years old. From Cambridge. We're both students, but we also do VIP hostessing and shop girling. And we're, we're identical, identical twins. twins. I think the boys, when they see us come into the villa, will probably be shocked. I think um, they'll be intrigued to think, are they close? Like, do you think I can shoot my shot with just one of them or both of them? Definitely. Like, how do I go about this? We're very protective If someone each other. is treating Eve really bad, like, obviously I would it, be... I would react worse to someone treating Jess badly than I would treating myself yeah. badly. 
And of course, if you remember the series the twins were on, which I think was season six, was it? Then you remember that one of them did have a thing with Callum, and that was Eve. So, I guess this is an attempt to perhaps turn Callum's head again. Because last night there were implications that he might be interested in going back to Molly. They were laughing around and being very friendly to each other, even though she's with Tom. And obviously he's not going to go back to Georgia. So it's possible he'll go with Eve, and it's possible he will also have to end it with Eve if he gets back with her, just like he did in season six. Anyway, let me know what you think about this, guys. I mean, we are really quite close to the end of the show. Apparently it's going to end during the week of February the 19th, so we haven't got far to go. We've got new people coming in, and I'm not really sure what's going to happen. I'm not really sure how this is going to end. I'm not really sure how remarkable or interesting the finale is going to be, because at the moment, apart from the PDA Awards, it's been rather vanilla. Maybe I should have said blonde. It's been rather blonde, because a lot of the people on there seem to be blonde. I'm getting really confused sometimes as to who is who. Because when they do long shots, I don't know who these people are because they all look the same. I'm sorry to sound so, you know, blatant about it. I mean, people have been raising questions about the lack of diversity on All Stars. And goodness me, it really shows now. It's like, I mean, I, I, never mind. Right, let's watch it later on together and see what happens. I feel this is a team effort and we're doing really well to even get this far in, guys. So well done.